What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today we are talking again about dividing a decimal dividend by a whole number divisor. But today we are talking about if that number is a two-digit divisor. This is our video number three for Dividing Decimals playlist. We hope you'll check out the other ones and uh, stay tuned for videos four, five, and six. Let's dive right in. Your objective today. Today I will be able to divide a decimal dividend by a whole number divisor with two digits. So our divisor, the difference between last video and this video is that our divisor is going to have two digits. Please check out our uh, dividing and actually it's just our decimal song. We talk about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing here. But we're going to go back to the same, the same lyrics, right, that has our teaching points in them. Divisions like magic poof, if it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. And that's what we're focused on again today. So just like we learned uh, last video, if the de decimal is in the dividend, you raise it straight to the roof. All right. So I want to put 2,312 inside my dividend and five tenths, right? And then I'm going to put my divisor, which is 25 on the outside. And just like I was doing this with just whole numbers, I want to make my easy multiple sheet because I have a two digit divisor right here. So when I make my easy multiple sheet, right, I'm going to start with one group of 25. Okay, and then all I'm doing is I'm re using repeated addition to continually add 25 to make all my other groups of 25. So I know some, sometimes when we do two-digit divisors, we try to either just guess or we try to do different multiplication equations, right, to figure it out. Well, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use repeated addition, which is multiplication, to continually add 25, right? And I'm going to stop when I get to nine groups. And now if you notice, I'm circling my groups and I'm labeling them so that way I can easily use them when I get to my division equation. But this is just something that I like to teach because I think it does a really good job of doing all of your heavy thinking beforehand. You don't have to guess, you don't have to estimate. You have a solid concrete strategy to find all the different groups of 25 and you're going to see how easy this is even though it takes about two minutes to do right off the bat you're going to see how easy it is to help you so that's my seventh group right and i have my eighth group right here Oop. now you want to be neat right you want to make sure that you continually regroup okay and then again i circle them just because i know there's a lot of numbers here and so i want to make sure that i have the correct numbers when i need them so my ninth group of 25 should be 225. And now that I'm done with my easy multiple sheet, I can come up here, okay? And we can use this to follow our steps of how many groups, multiply, subtract, bring down, right? So zero groups of 25 go into two. When I multiply that, that is zero. Subtract, which is two. Bring down my three. Again, zero groups of 25 go into 23. So when I multiply that, obviously that'd be zero. I'm going to get 23. I'm going to bring down my one right here. Now, how many groups of 25 go into 231? When I scroll down to look at my easy multiple sheet, I can see that I can actually fit nine groups in. Okay, so nine groups. When I multiply that, 25 times nine is 225. I've already done all that heavy lifting. And so now I can just subtract and take my time to make sure I subtract correctly. That's going to be six, right? And then I'm going to bring down my two. And how many groups of 25 can go into 62, right? I can't fit three, but if I go back up a little bit, I can obviously fit two. Oh, it turned black on me. That's cool. And so 25 times two is 50, right? And so now I'm going to just subtract. I get 12. I bring down my five right here, right? And how many groups of 25 go to 125? Of course, that'd be five. I multiply that. That's 125. I subtract, and I'm going to get zero. But I know I'm not done because I had a decimal in my dividend. And when it's in the dividend, I need to make sure I raise it to the roof. And so your answer should be 92 in five tenths right? If you had estimated this earlier, maybe you round this up to 2,500, right? Which means 2,500 divided by 25 should be about 100, which makes you know that your decimal, right, needs to be um, in between the two and the five. Just in case you forget, you can always use your estimate to make sure your answer is reasonable. 
but then you can just, oh yeah, I forgot to raise it to the roof, right? So let's try you try. Go ahead and pause this one, okay? And make your easy multiple sheet, um, solve it, and then push play and let's see how you did. Hopefully you just paused it and solved it. So let's go ahead and check this out. So my first thing is I'm gonna um, just set up my problem, right? I know I'm dividing by 14, okay? And I have a decimal in the dividend. So when it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. So I'm gonna raise it straight up to the roof. Like I'm at a potty. Okay, and I have my decimal right there. And then I would make my easy multiple sheet over here. I'm gonna go ahead and make my easy multiple sheet, but I'll fast forward it. And then you can pause the video if you need to, just to double check your easy multiple sheet. So my first group is 14. Woo, that was hard work. Now I'm gonna just start with my steps, right? How many groups? Multiply, subtract, bring down. So I have zero groups of 14 going to two. So I'm gonna subtract. Okay, I'm gonna bring down my nine. I have two groups of 14 that can go into uh, 29 because I know that's 28, right? So I'm gonna multiply, subtract, bring down my six. I have one group of 14 that can fit into 16. Obviously that one I multiply is just 14. Then I'm going to bring down my next group of eight. And how many groups of 14 can go into 28? I know that's going to be a two. When I multiply that, that is 28. I subtract. I have nothing left to bring down and I have a digit over each digit in my dividend. And so I know my quotient is two and 12 hundredths. Hopefully this has helped you kind of understand that you're just really dividing like you would with whole numbers. You just need to, when it's in the dividend, raise it to the roof. Please check out our next few videos or our song to help you remember this at Instructed Beats Official on YouTube. We would love for you to subscribe. Please check us out on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. Instructed Beats, out.